I'm Yuan Jun from AWS AI. I will describe a method for backward compatible representation learning. If you use a smart photo app, you may have noticed that sometimes when you switch to a new version of it, the search feature is not immediately usable. If the app represents image using a deep embedding neural network, it is using this idle time for reprocessing the entire photo gallery to recompute new embedding vectors, a process called backfilling. Now, imagine having billions of photos. Backfilling could take weeks, and its cost may be prohibitive. What if we could switch to the new version without having to recompute embeddings? This is an instance of the problem of backward compatible representation learning. In the visual search example, to compare a new query photo to the gallery, one measures the distance between the embedding vectors of the corresponding images in the query and the gallery sets. If a new and better embedding model comes along, it generally lives in a different space than the old embedding. For instance, they could have different dimensions, so one cannot simply compare old and new directly. To be compatible, the new model we use should satisfy the following constraints. For any pair of images of the same class, the distance of their embeddings processed by the two models separately has to be smaller than when we only use the old model. This means that when searching across different versions, search quality should not degrade compared to continuing to use the old model. This simple criteria, however, is intractable if enforced on every pair of images in a large gallery. So we relax it to a statistical compatibility criteria that is tractable and simple to evaluate by experiments. One may come up with several straightforward approaches to achieve backward compatibility, like learning a chip transform between two embeddings, or train the new model to minimize embedding distance to the old model. However, these approaches all failed in our experiments, but we did find a viable way for backward compatible training. Say we have two models trained using two large datasets with some overlap. When training an embedding network, we distinguish between the backbone that produces the embedding and the classifier that maps it to a class. Backward compatible training can be achieved by adding a term which we call influence loss to the objective function used for training the new model. On the overlap between the two datasets, we fit the new model's embedding to the old model's classifier. This way, the new embedding is trained to use the old model's classifier in addition to learning its own. In other words, the new term influences the newly learned embedding to be compatible with the old one by forcing them to use the same classifier. To test our method, we compare the backward compatible training against the baseline, which is to just keep using the old embedding and the paragon obtained by backfilling and using only the new embedding. Ideally, backward compatible trained model exhibits performance close to the paragon or the upper bound, while requiring a cost similar to the baseline or the lower bound. Indeed, this is what we observe in our experiments. Without backfilling, it improves the search accuracy over the baseline, obtaining almost half of the accuracy gain in the Paragon case. We do not need to sacrifice search quality to achieve backward compatibility. More specifically, we find that our method to be effective even against a combination of deeper architectures, larger training datasets, difference in lengths between old and new embeddings, and disparate changes of primary loss functions say softmax cross-entropy versus center loss. Of course, even if performance loss is minimal, enforcing backward compatibility over many versions of models can lead to performance degradation, as one frequently experiences with software updates. It would be great if with backward compatible learning, one could still perform backfilling, thus reaching the performance of the paragon, but do so gradually, seamlessly, and without interruption to the search feature. Indeed, with our method, backfilling can be performed in the background while the search function remains usable. As time goes by, one can then align all past versions by exploiting cheaper computing options, experiencing gradual increase in search accuracy until the backfilling is completed. Now, your smart photo app can really get smarter and smarter search without any downtime. For more details, please see our paper Towards Backward Compatible Representation Learning or chat with us in the live session.